Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew Essential and I'm here today to share our best selling sewing patterns from 2022. So everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to the sewing patterns and the fabrics and any products I mention below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. So let's get started with the patterns. It's kind of a top of a pot that pops of sewing patterns, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's always interesting to just see what people have been enjoying. I've made a couple of them, so I'll show you my makes and I'm going to start in reverse order. So we're going to finish up with the most popular patterns at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. So the first pattern I want to share with you, and I'm not surprised at all that this was super popular, is Simplicity 8797, uber contemporary, easy to make, um, it just ticks all the right boxes. It's a loose fitting, oversized coat pattern with a reverse lapel, and collar, a single button fastening at the front. Um, it looks like a nice sort of oversized style. We've been seeing these everywhere on the high street this year. Um, on the pattern packet, they've made it up in like a Sherpa type fabric, that sort of teddy bear coat that um, has been really, really popular this year. But there's, and that's a full length version that they show you on the packet. But then there is um, a more boxy sort of cropped version. And then what looks like would be a knee length version as well. And I think there's actually four different lengths so one that's just a little bit longer again um, but not quite the maxi length um, so lots and lots of options here it is a lined coat as well which I always think is nice um, easier to get on and off with your jumpers and your clothes and things thanks to the slippery lining um, and just a nicer neater finish um, but yeah it looks like a relatively simple way to dip your toe in the world of coat making and it runs in sizes from an extra small to an extra large so I'll just give you the extra large measurements which are a 44 to 46 bust 37 to 39 waist and a 46 to 48 hip and the fabrics you could make this up in you could go for some of that like borg like teddy sort of um, fabric you can go for low pile low pile fur fabrics um, denims sherpa fleece wool types um, you might need some extra fabric to match plaids or stripes or one-way designs so that would be the case with this fabric that i've chosen which is newly in stock and it is a poly wool mix and I think it's a really contemporary um, print and colourway. It's like a mustardy sort of goldy sort of colour. So kind of in keeping with the theme that they chose on the pattern packet. Um, and it's just got this check. And personally, I love a check jacket or a check coat. I just think it adds a nice extra bit of interest and detail to your outfit. And I think this would look great sewn up into that super contemporary oversized coat pattern. I would probably go for that three quarter length version, which was view C. Um, and yeah, I think that would work really, really well. The next pattern I want to share with you is another jacket pattern actually. It's the Tamarack Jacket by Grey Nine Studios. So this has been around for a few years and I just think it has become so incredibly popular year after year people seem to go back to it um, and again she sort of was ahead of the trend here because she brought this out before the whole quilted jacket trend hit um, and now we're very firmly in quilted jacket trend territory um, so these patterns had some real longevity but it was popular before that quilted trend really hit anyway um, a lovely opportunity with this pattern as well to have a go at stretching some of your sewing skills doing the quilting she does suggest quilting the um, jacket using a wadding which we do stock on our website i'll pop links below for you um, but using a wadding to create a quilted jacket and then doing some lovely top stitching to um, secure that wadding in place as you do with a quilt um, and there's lots of different views with it well two different views sorry um, it's a very simple sort of crew neck crew neck round neck um, you can have a button front fastening um, and then a normal sort of straight sleeve with a little sort of um, curved hem 
options for welt pockets um, and then binding to finish the neckline and the hems and the cuffs um, and I have seen so many gorgeous versions of this you can really go to town and make it your own I've seen people who've done patchwork versions people who've done color blocked versions people who've done denim um, so and it's great for sort of spring and autumn for layering so I was thinking actually it'd be a great time now to get your teeth into a project like this um, and get something sewn up and ready for when those first few warmer days start coming it's always nice to have a lighter weight jacket but you can choose how thick you want the wadding to be depending on how warm you want the coat to be um, so yeah you can make your own design as well um, if you don't want to follow the quilting designs included um, you can actually go for it and make your own um, and yeah they will roomy welt pockets so there is room in those welt pockets to actually put stuff in them which is always nice as well um, this comes in two sizes so it goes from a 0 to an 18 the 18 is a 44 bust 37 waist and 47 hip but it also comes in a 14 to a 30 um, the smaller size the 0 to 18 is drafted for a b cup and the larger size the 14 to 30 is drafted for a d cup um, and the size 30 is a 50 56 bust, 49 waist and 59 hip. So really size inclusive and um, with those two size options. Options to have a go at developing lots of lovely sewing skills, putting your own stamp on something, a really lovely project to get your teeth into. Um, so as I said, denims, cottons, that sort of thing you can go for. I thought, what about one of our seven berry um, cotton twill fabrics? I thought this lovely khaki colour, if you quilt that um, I think that would make the perfect spring autumn jacket and I think it's something you would go to I've got a jacket in my wardrobe a similar sort of light olive khaki sort of color to this um, and I got so much wear out of it last year because it goes with everything looks great with jeans um, so I thought that would be a really good option for the Grain Line Studios jacket we have got lots of other colors in that cotton twill if you want to check them out I'm putting links to everything below so do jump on check out what I'm sharing with you and our website all the links are below the next pattern that was um so we're going in reverse order remember but I've picked out six so the very most popular ones are going to be at the end but this was a surprise for me and quite a pleasant discovery actually simplicity 9595 um, which is a super easy one main pattern piece easy cut easy sew pattern and it's a pair of it's sort of like a wrap skirt and trousers um, so it's a vintage design that they've re-released and it's basically creates sort of like palazzo pants like a loose fitting um, really loose fitting trouser but it wraps round and ties at the front so it's like a skirt and trouser incorporated very sort of retro vintage um, but again I think wide leg trousers are, are so in fashion now I love the styling on the packet where they've paired these wide leg voluminous trousers in a lovely print with a very fitted white t-shirt and a pendant necklace I thought that just looked so contemporary um, with a pair of block wedgie sort of heels um, obviously you know it depends kind of what fabrics you make these in but I'm thinking this would probably be more of a summery sort of make um, but wouldn't it be nice to just get these in your wardrobe I think they'd be awesome for holidays as well if anyone's got a winter sun holiday coming up super easy to put on and wear over your swimming costume um, or just like a vest top I think they would be a really welcome addition to my wardrobe and you could sew them up really quickly because it's such a simple sew should tell you the sizes of that one um, they come in a small to a large a large is an 18 to 20 so let me just check the size on the other simplicity pattern a 20 is um, a 42 bust 34 waist and 44 hips so it goes up to a size 20 um, now the fabrics I chose they, ch they suggest sort of um, fluid flowy fabrics cottons um, viscose that sort of thing linens um, you've got to think ahead to summer now this is definitely a sum more summery fabric but it's a lovely I think it's a cotton lawn all the descriptions and everything are on the website so I'll pop links below as I said and you can check the details out there but it's a really lovely soft 
um, silky soft cotton. I'm sure it's a lawn because it certainly feels like one, um, but it will be in the description. Um, but this lovely sort of blue florally print, and I think that would be absolutely perfect to make a gorgeous, gorgeous pair of trousers. If you wanted to go with something a bit darker and a bit more wintry looking, um, you know, this is a 100% cotton seven berry fabric that I thought would work really well as well, like a ditzy print. These are Japanese inspired. Um, watch the width on these because they aren't that wide. So um, you would need to just check the width on it for your fabric requirements. Um, but they're 100% cotton, but they're very much like a linen look and they're this beautiful indigo color. Um, with these little prints on. We've got quite a few designs in these and I thought the trousers would look beautiful made up in that as well. Um, I brought one of the other designs up to show you. I got a bit carried away actually with all of this and I think I was going to show you this for the next pattern as well but that's another one with like a lovely floral print on it and um, they're a really nice weight as well these are really high quality absolutely lovely um, so yeah I thought any of those would make a great version of those wrap trouser skirts um, and then the next pattern I wanted to share with you, this was a surprise for me as well. I hadn't really sort of noticed this pattern before, but Simplicity 9590, which is like a dungarees overalls pattern, loose fitting. Um, you can go for a cropped length, wide leg, or a more, it looks like a more straight leg, full length trouser, um, but just a great, easy to wear, casual piece of clothing um, that you can wear over t-shirts, jumpers, shirts, and I see loads of people wearing these um, if you've got a job where you don't have to dress too smartly, quite nice to wear a shirt underneath to work or a jumper, um, but great for just when you're at home at weekends and that sort of thing as well. These run up to a size 24, which is a 44 to 46 bust, 37 to 39 waist and a 46 to 48 hip. And the suggested fabrics are denims, twills, chinos, corduroys, cotton types, linens, poplins. Um, they've got a... Um, the back comes up into the centre and then the straps come across. They've got patch pockets on the back um, and then there is a patch pocket on the front as well, which if you're, you know, these would be great to wear when you're sewing or if you're into art or gardening perhaps, you know, you've got a pocket on the front to store things in um, and they've got pockets in the side seams as well and just a nice, loose, comfortable fit as I say. So I thought actually this seven berry cotton would make a really pretty version if you wanted a print, but if you wanted plain, the seven berry twill, which I showed you earlier, that comes in a range of colours you could go with that or you could go for a classic indigo denim I thought that would be really nice and you could do some lovely top stitching um, you could go do it in the traditional sort of gold top stitching that um, de jeans often have but sometimes I think well, what about just picking like a really bright pink like this or another colour just to add a bit of interesting detail and this um, denim's got a little bit of stretch in it as well so adding to the comfort factor. I'm going to pop links to all of these fabrics and patterns below so you, you can find them on our website um, but that was my choice for that one. And then I'm going to just quickly get changed because the two most popular patterns are two that I've previously made. So just bear with me and I'll show you the next one. So our second best-selling pattern in 2022 was Simplicity 9469, which I'm wearing. I made it in this gorgeous dashwood cotton lawn, which we have still got some in stock because I did buy extra, because um, I did a full review on this pattern, which you can find on our channel. I'll link it below for you. Um, but it really is the most delightful, gorgeous, silky soft, cotton lawn fabric and this print is just to die for in my opinion I love the colours I love the pattern um, but yeah we're talking about the um, sewing pattern as well which is 9469 it runs in sizes up to um, 
let me just double check it runs up to a 24 a 24 is a 46 bust 39 waist and 48 hip and it is a really lovely simple sew there's no fastenings because it's fastened with this tie um, at the keyhole so there's no by no fastenings I mean no zips no buttons anything like that it's just pull it on over your head tie it with these cute little Rolu straps I think I gave some tips for um, doing the keyhole and doing the straps on the review video so I'll pop a link to that below as I say um, but yeah just a nice simple sew I lengthen the sleeves on mine um, but there's lots of different views there's a two v-neck options one with a waist that's gathered with elastic um, different sleeve options options for a cuff like I've done where it's just finished with elastic or one with a little trumpet ruffle around the cuff and then there's two versions with the keyhole um, one with a three-quarter length sleeve and one with a short sleeve and then I chose to lengthen mine a bit more um, it's sort of a tunic length so I like to tuck my blouses in I wouldn't normally wear it with black jeans either I'd normally wear this with my indigo jeans but this is just what I had on today um, but just to give you an idea it is a nice long blouse as well so if you're somebody who prefers um, to wear like a tunic style blouse and wear it untucked that option is very much there for you but if like me you prefer to tuck things in it's not going to keep coming untucked which is one of my bugbears when I cut a blouse too short I've done that plenty of times before but this one's great never comes untucked um, and I just really really love this blouse and really love the fabric um, it's been a firm favorite in my wardrobe and I just put a cardigan on and over it in the winter but then when spring comes you know it is going to come soon guys we haven't got long left to wait um I always think having some nice blouses in your wardrobe is just great um for spring so yeah a really good pattern for that um you could make it in this fabric I'll link this fabric below for you um and I'm linking all the patterns but I also just chose a couple of other fabrics I kind of went a bit mad with the fabrics today because there's just so many that when I look at the shelves and I think oh I haven't looked at that one for ages or oh I've never noticed that one before but I thought if you wanted to make a more sort of wintry version we've got this cotton um, fabric with like a very very dark navy background almost looks like a black and these pretty little purple and red um, floral prints on it I thought that would look really nice and work great with jeans um, but then we've also got this lovely viscose fabric which is quite sort of autumnal um, wintry colours as well sort of like gold and orangey hues um, and it's a floral print a lady called Kathy made a beautiful dress out of this fabric um, earlier in the year and it looked gorgeous and I thought this would work really well for this blouse too so are you ready for the most popular pattern of 2022 let me just get changed and I'll show it to you so ta-da this is our best-selling sewing pattern of 2022 it is the style arc francesca blouse which i made in our peach skin fabric which is available in a range of other colors i think we're quite low on the red now people went mad for this after the video there's a full review video on the channel so do check that out I've got to say though because it has been so super popular we have sold out currently and so is our supplier of the smaller size um, but it should be due in stock hopefully next week so and as soon as it is we'll have it back on the site so do stay tuned um, for that and I think we've got one copy of the larger size left I think we can get more of the larger size at the moment as well but just keep your eyes peeled on the website um, because as soon as they're back in stock we'll have them back on the website and then we have got lots of lovely colours in this peach skin fabric but let me just show you many of you probably will have seen the review um, I did but it's just a beautiful blouse pattern it's like a sort of like classic sort of shirt fit um, it's got bust starts which come up from the waist um, I'm wearing it with a non padded bra at the moment because that's what I was wearing to work today but normally I think I fitted this when I was wearing a padded bra so the fit might not be as good as it was with the padded bra um, but I was really happy with the fit it was the first time I made a style art pattern and I just thought it was fantastic um, I talk in a lot of detail about my thoughts on style art patterns in the review video so I'll link that below if you haven't seen it um, but it's just got this beautiful ruffle collar 
colour and this peach skin fabric was the perfect weight to give that colour the oomph and the volume it deserves without it being too bulky and chunky. Um, I did trim and grade the seams really well around the neckline so that there wasn't any bulk there. Um, and yeah, it's just a button down front. I made self cover buttons. Um, the cuffs I love. There's um, a little, little, little pleat on the back of the sleeve. Um, and then it's just finished with the cuff without any buttons. You just slip them over your hands, which I love, just nice and easy, simple to sew, but simple when you're getting dressed as well. And then I think, yeah, we've got darts down the back as well. We've got fish darts down the back for a nice shape, but just a lovely classic shirt with a twist um, that I know I will wear over and over again over the years. It's just the perfect shirt for lunch with your friends or an evening meal, just the right level of dressed up. Um, but I would wear this day to day as well, to be honest, with my jeans. But I just really like it. I feel really put together. I loved the fit of it as well. I thought the fit was excellent for me. Um, it comes in sizes from a 4 to a 30. So a 30 is a 19, 19 and 3 quarters shoulder breadth. So it does give you the shoulder breadth, which I found really useful as well because I do have a uh, trouble fitting around my shoulders and my armholes. Um, so that's an additional measurement that they give you that they don't give you on a lot of other patterns. And I was be able, able to check that it was gonna be the right width for me, and it was, which was really nice. Um, they give you an upper arm girth measurement as well, which is 16 and 5 eighths for the 30. The bust is a 58 and a quarter inch, the waist is a 50 and a half inch, and the hip is a 61 inch. So that gives you the sizes there. Um, but as I say, sadly, the smaller size is out of stock at the moment. But when this video is released, I think we should be able to get them the following week. Um, so just stay tuned with the website. But as I said, everything I've talked about today, it's all available on our lovely website. So do jump on and check out um, the, all the lovely products we've got, the patterns, the fabrics I've mentioned today. They're all bit linked below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. 